yesterday we had a really interesting conversation with a highly respected um, and knowledgeable gentleman who works as a human rights um, worker for a very well-known international organization. Um, what I'm going to say now is our own opinion uh, about what we have learned in the past few weeks here in Palestine and also um, what we learned in this um, meeting that we had yesterday. Um, it was a lot of information, so sorry if I keep looking at my notes um, to prompt me. But um, our meeting yesterday reinforced in our minds that it is time for us to leave Palestine, at least for now, um, due to the increasing tensions, uh, not just uh, surrounding Gaza and Israel, but also um, the tensions between the Palestinian people themselves and their governing authority, the Palestinian Authority. Um, there's probably almost certainly going to be a ground war in Gaza. What's happening in Gaza at the moment is unprecedented. The scale of destruction, the killings, the violence is uh, uh, unprecedented. Um, in the past 11 days, more people have been killed in Gaza than in the whole of the 52-day previous um, Gazan uh, Gazan Israeli war. Um, so the ground war is likely coming and it's probably going to come fast because uh, the Israeli people in general uh, are demanding revenge for the October 7th uh, Hamas action and um, the wholehearted support of the main Western governments for Israel, giving them carte blanche to do as they wish with the Palestinian people, um, will just uh, enable uh, Israel to go in and, and cause more destruction. Um, what we learned yesterday or understood better yesterday was also the situation for um, the Gazan potential evacuees. Currently, Egypt is uh, rejecting any possibility of accepting refugees into the Sinai, um, but it's believed that um, at some point, because of Egypt's uh, dire economic situation and their massive debt to the IMF, the IMF being mostly controlled by the USA, um, will result in pressure on Egypt to accept uh, Gazan refugees, so potentially hundreds of thousands, perhaps into the millions uh, of Gazan refugees will end up in tents in refugee camps in the Sinai Desert. Um, the whole Palestinian population obviously identify with the plight of the Gazans. The Gazans are Palestinians after all. Um, and their anger at the situation has been just at the general situation of the occupation has been amplified by this siege on, on Gaza. And the anger is directed at the state of Israel, not, necess not as, as the Palestinians we meet are clear to say, not at Jewish people, not at individual Israelis, but at the state of Israel and the Israeli military. Um, but this is this has all uh, increased the anger. But in addition to that, uh, it's fed the long-held frustration the Palestinian people have with the Palestinian Authority. Only 3% of Palestinians here support Fatah, which is the party that controls the Palestinian Authority, and the Palestinians feel betrayed by their own government. Since Mahmoud Abbas became president of the Palestinian Authority, he has followed a policy, a very rigid policy, for decades now uh, of allowing no armed resistance. The policy was well intended 
intending to further negotiations with Israel in order to make progress towards peace. But apart from some very minor concessions early on, the lack of um, interest in peace on behalf of the Israeli government has led to a worsening of the situation for the Palestinians. At the same time, the Palestinians have seen how Hamas attacks on settlers within Gaza led to the Israeli uh, withdrawal from Gaza in 2005. So you see how Palestinians can view uh, armed resistance at making some progress and uh, political negotiations as sending them backwards in their goal, their goal being to end the occupation and just live life. Now, after decades of failed negotiations by the PA and Hamas's stunning military action on October the 7th and the resulting carnage in Gaza, the Palestinians' anger at the PA is at boiling point. There's a reasonable possibility that the Palestinian Authority's response to Palestinian protesters in the streets, these are protesters just demonstrating in the streets in support of, of Gaza. Um, the PA's response has included sniper killings of Palestinian people as well as arrest and torture of protesters. And that response is going to lead to definitely increased clashes and possibly a civil war between Palestinians and the Palestinian Authority. So to wrap up, the Palestinian Authority that is in nominal charge of part of the West Bank is seen by most Palestinians as not only a puppet of Israel, but as a traitor to the Palestinian people. The Palestinian people feel completely abandoned by their own government and by much of the international community. So we are heartbroken to say that it's time for us to leave. We're heartbroken to abandon the people here who have welcomed us, included us in their discussions, and treated us with nothing but generosity. And they want nothing more than to live a normal life without the daily humiliation and violence of the occupation. But with regard to our love for our family, we feel we must leave.